And today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, a one-man uh, real good act and entertaining person. Uh, here is a guy that we've grown to know over the years and uh, really grown quite fond of. Here is Randall Hilton. It's all yours, Randall. Back on Ocho at Bush Hall Park, we can handle any size job. Dial 368-2210 after 5 p.m. As for Back Old Joe, Bush Hall Park. I was reading the bargain browser, trying to find myself a deal. Someone to paint my house or sell me an automobile. In the handyman section, I came across this ad. I read it close, and this is what it said. Back old Joe, push hog pop. We can handle any size job. Dial 368-2210 at 5 p.m. Ask for back old Joe, push hog pop. So I picked up a telephone, got the old dial tone. I punched the number, and the phone rang twice. I heard a crackling noise, then somebody's voice started speaking on the answering device. This is back old Joe at Bush Hog Bar. Oh, we can handle any size job. Dial 368-2210 at 5 p.m. Just stand for back old Joe at Bush Hog Bar. Play the show. my drain and moved six tons of dirt. Then Bob came over yesterday and moved ten bales of hay. He handed me his card, but he got paid. Guess what it said? Back old Joe and push on. Hey, we can handle any size job. Now 368-2210 at the 5 p.m. As for back old Joe or Bush Hog Bob. So if your grass is knee high, if your weeds are tall, Bob won't rip you off or jack the price. If you need a ditch dug, this is the old Joe call. He won't do you in, he'll do you right. That's back old Joe at Bush Hog Park. They can handle any size job. Dial 368-2210 after 5 p.m. Just ask for back old Joe at Bush Hog Park. All right, back old Joe and Bush Hog Bob. <clears throat> Here's a song about a lawyer and a farmer. It goes like this. Mr. Philip Stanton Esquire was a lawyer in our town. He defended all the bad guys. He was known for miles around. A big Mercedes and the wore expensive suits. I know when he graced the courtroom, he'd very seldom lose. One morning, an old farmer was called to take the stand. He showed up in bibbed overalls, had a straw hat in his hand. They swore him in and he sat down, but the DA asked his name. It's Levi West, was his reply. Don't expect that'll ever change. Now it happened that old Levi West was a witness to a crime. And the man who did the robbery was Philip Stanton's client. The lawyer planned to make the farmer out to be a fool. And his harsh words to the old man nearly knocked him off his stool. You testified you saw the robber, Mr. Levi West. But it was 10 p.m. in a parking lot, and you're the only eyewitness. You were several yards away, sir. Do your eyes still see that good? Are you telling this court you could recognize my client from where you stood? The old man slowly nodded and softly said, that's right. Then tell me, sir, the lawyer said, just how far can you see at night? The 
The old man's face turned crimson red and he clutched his old straw hat. Then he said, by golly, I can see the moon, smart aleck. Now tell me, how fur is that? to have a song about the underdog winning, you know. Let's do an instrumental for you here. A Mexican song called El Comanchero. The old El Comanchero. I want to do you another song. Uh, I'll get this guitar in tune a little better. I want to do you another song that's uh, kind of a funny song. Uh, uh, this is a new thing that I've had around a little while. Talks about going bowling one night and uh, an adventure song, I guess you might say. It's called The Brunette and the Blonde. our shoes and chairs beside the wall and walked the brunette and the blonde a couple of living dogs when joe looked up and saw that blonde i thought the boy would faint and my knees turned to butter when they took the adjoining lane the brunette smiled at me and then she said is this lane free i said oh well <laughs> joe answered her for me Like Playboy center folds. They'd giggle when they'd get a split, then wink at me and Joe. They got us so excited, we kept rolling gutter balls. If either one hit the pins that night, I really don't recall. Well, when their game was over, we went over to their lane. Joe asked if we could take them home, and they both said, we drove them to their condo where we got invited in And seven shots of Novocaine could not remove our grins One thing led to another, but 
then romance hit a snag Cause those two babes turned out to be two guys dressed up in drag Oh please don't tell our friends about the brunette and the blonde We don't want anyone to know We dated Steve and Ron All right. Yeah, I deviated a little bit from the program there. Let's see if we can play another instrumental that uh, I was going to do earlier and hadn't got on. Let's see if we can do a little bit of the uh, Cincinnati rag. <laughs> It's a natty rag. You know, in the bluegrass music field, there's always songs about, you know, American things, like apple pie and, and uh, oh, the old home place. A lot of songs about the old home place. A lot of songs about mama, too. And uh, I decided I'd write my own song about mama. This is one called Mama's Not Dead, She Just Playing Possum. Last night, mama called us all to her bedside said children I'm tired of suffering and weak in just a short while I'll be called to heaven then she closed her eyes and fell fast asleep we waited all night but mama kept breathing we stood by her bed with tears in our eyes Then Mama got up And time to cook breakfast It's hard to be sad cause Mama did not die Oh, Mama's not dead She's just playing possum Her soul is at rest found a new way to get some attention mama's not dead she just playing possum now when mama came down with gallbladder trouble she thought she heard angels in her hospital room but it was only the nurse on the intercom system Checking to see if her bed pan was full Cause it mama's not dead She just playing possum Her soul is at rest In her rocking chair She's found a new way To 
get some attention. Mama's not there, she's just playing possum. Mama's not there, she's just playing possum. that she just playing possum. Well, my mother's 82 years old. She heard that album and I, that I have that on. She said, I don't think you ought to put that song on it. Uh, anyhow, here's one uh, kind of a pretty love song. It's a real old song, but a lot of folks do it still. And uh, I just like to try my hand at it. I still miss someone. someone and I want to do another song kind of deviate from the uh, set list today I write songs about cars I've got one called two fat guys in a Hudson Hornet and I've got one called Roscoe Thompson's 1950 GMC and uh, and I've also got one uh, called my 1962 Dodge Dart let me see if I can do this song for you like this when the old speedometer finally died, it read 65,000 for the fourth time. In my 1962 Dodge Dart. Machine, 62 Dodge Dart. It didn't look too good in traffic, but that engine was a classic. And 17 years of nerve was 
feel the stop. I was feeling rubber and shifting gears. I polluted most of the atmosphere with my 1962 Dodge car. Try your horn, Michelle. Tubeless tires and a trailer hitch. I broke the key off and the switch. Had to touch two wires together to make it start. Slanted six push button drive. I cruise along about 85 in an oil burning. Piston churning, 62 dots done. When the rust stayed out the floorboard, I could look down and see the hard road. Had to put on the rubber boots when the rain would start. Yeah, and at Christmas time, I had it made. I drove it in the town parade. Tossing candy from my old Dodge dog. Rev it up, Michelle. I stopped out by the lake. I forgot to set the brake. I didn't think to put it down in park. I heard the engine begin to sputter. When I looked back, she was going under, sinking down in a pool of water. Was my old dog stuck? They came out with a record. They pulled her from the river. The engine was still idling in that car. Well, Times must end, they say. I'd still be driving that car today, but someone stole my 62 Dodge Dart. Yeah, they carjacked my 62 Dodge Dart. My 1962 Dodge Dart. Let me, uh, let me get my other guitar over here and do an instrumental for you. This is an old, old song about an Indian maiden, and uh, got some beautiful words to it, which I never, never bothered to learn, but let's see if we can play a little song called Red Wing on the guitar. a song now about an old old miner, a miner, a man who worked in the mines in uh, Kentucky, and he uh, was also a preacher. This song was written by Merle Travis. It's called, it's called Preacher Lane. Preacher Lane was just a miner in a little mountain town, and he daily faced the danger of his labors underground. But on Sunday at the meet, all the miners' families came just to hear the gospel message preached by Preacher Lane. Oh, he didn't preach for money 
earthly gain was not his lot. Leading sinners to the altar was the only pay he got. But when they count the blessings that he brought his fellow man, Preacher Lane will have a mansion in the glory land. Many times an injured miner, filled with pride and wrecked with pain, in the midst of all his suffering, he would call for Preacher Lane. Who would humbly kneel beside him, and the Lord would hear his prayer, a great peace would fall upon the injured miner. Oh, he didn't preach for money, earthly gain was not his lot. Leading sinners to the altar was the only pay he got. But when they count the blessings that he brought his fellow man, Preacher Lane will have a mansion. Well, looks like the old watch has caught up with us, and it's uh, time for us to pack up our gear and uh, get out of here for another week uh, and uh, let some of the programming come on. Uh, don't forget our underwriters, the Harper Run uh, Communication Arts, uh, a business-to-business -business communication, and a grant from the Northern Indiana Bluegrass Music Association from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Until next week at this same time, this is D.G. Davenport saying uh, good night to you and be good to one another. You couldn't be good to a nicer person. Bye.